Welcome to the Christian Pregnancy Podcast. I'm Gladys, a mom of two who has been through the struggles of getting pregnant, staying pregnant, being pregnant, followed by a challenging childbirth and postpartum. I believe that children are a gift from God and a journey into motherhood is meant to be a blessed one. But the evil one has come to kill, steal and destroy our joy and peace. And that is why so many are struggling with stress and fear in pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum. As daughters of God, Jesus has come that we may have abundant life. And this abundant life includes joy and peace throughout your motherhood journey. If you are ready to overcome stress and fear in pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum by applying God's word in your life, get ready for a peaceful and joyful ride into motherhood when you discover who you truly are and connect with your Heavenly Father in deeper ways. If you are ready to thrive and not just survive through your pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum, hop on in, sit tight as we ride together into motherhood with Jesus at the wheel. Hi, Daughter of God. Firstly, I want to invite you to join the Facebook community that I'm setting up. So go on over to bit.ly slash Christian Pregnancy Group. That is B-I-T dot L-Y slash Christian Pregnancy Group. I created this group as a community to support one another through pregnancy, postpartum and motherhood so that we can journey together and grow together as a community. If you have any questions or need support in any area in pregnancy to motherhood, please post in that group so that others can support you. Also, if you have any topic in mind that you would like to hear on this podcast, do reach out to me through that Facebook group as well. I'm always looking for topic ideas so that I can best serve you in this journey from pregnancy to motherhood. So go to the Facebook group at bit.ly slash Christian Pregnancy Group and be part of the community. Introduce yourself and participate in the weekly post topics. So, back to today's episode. Today's episode goes live on my birthday. So, as a birthday special, I would like to share part of my testimony in this journey to motherhood, specifically how I went through my second miscarriage, which happened on my birthday five years ago. For me, birthdays are a mix of emotions because five years ago on my birthday, I lost my second pregnancy. Maybe I shouldn't use the word loss because I know where my baby went, which is to heaven. But yes, I miscarried on my birthday five years ago. The week before it happened, things didn't look good and the heartbeat of the baby was slowing down and it eventually stopped. I was praying and hoping for a miracle at that time and just hanging on in faith for a miracle that my baby would somehow be alive and be well. I was praying and crying out to God at that time. The night before my birthday, I wrote a letter to my baby whom we had named Jamie. I wrote a letter to Jamie telling him that I wish I could have been his mom on this earth and that I was so sorry that I couldn't do anything to help him. In fact, I did all that I could do, which was to pray. I prayed and I released him to the Lord and prayed for God's will to be done. And shortly after that, it turned midnight on my birthday and the miscarriage started. That was how I celebrated my birthday five years ago. I was lost and broken and wondered Why had God forsaken my baby, and why had he forsaken me? I was wondering, was this a punishment from God? I had all these negative thoughts swirling around in my mind. Of course, now I know that miscarriages do happen because we live in a fallen world where things like this happen because of the fall of mankind and sin. But at that moment of grief and despair, I could just only cry out to God, wondering if he had forgotten my baby and had forgotten me and my dream of having children, my dream of being a mother. And that is okay. I believe that God wants us to come to him with our deepest emotions, whether they are positive or negative, joy or despair. He meets us where we are. The amazing thing as I now look back on this incident, when my second baby went to heaven without being on earth, as I miscarried for the second time on my birthday of all days, 
as I was sitting in despair, thinking it was just a cruel joke that it had to happen on my birthday, I realized that God already knew that three years later, I would celebrate my birthday with two beautiful children. I could barely even dream about it at that time, but God knew. Psalm 139 verse 16 says, Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So, he knows all of my days, and he knows all of my baby's days, the first and the last, even before we were conceived. He knew that my baby would go to heaven on that day, just as he knew that I would have to go through another miscarriage after that before eventually having my two children. God knows. He knows the future and he knows how it would turn out. And he not only knows, but he also cares. He cares about me just as he cares about you, my dear sister. I want to encourage you that you are precious in God's sight. He knows and he cares about you and you are precious in his sight. Whether you are going through the valley or praising him at the top of the mountain in this season of life, Take comfort in knowing that He knows and cares and that you can come to Him and come before Him with all of your feelings and emotions and thoughts and He will be there for you. He will be there with you. He knows what lies ahead in your journey and only He knows. It is not the end of the journey yet wherever you might be right now. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says to his people, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. We, as God's children, can trust in God's plan to give us hope and a future and continue following him and trusting him even when things are difficult and things don't seem hopeful and the future looks bleak. Trust in God. Trust in His Word and His promises. I'll end with a passage of scripture that I have held on through the difficult times and I was recently reminded of this passage again. It is in Habakkuk 3 verse, verses 17 to 19. I'll read it. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, Though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Saviour. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. Yes, so that was Habakkuk 3 verses 17 to 19. And this passage of scripture it talks about how Habakkuk, the prophet, chose to rejoice in the Lord, even in the midst of suffering, and he proclaimed that God is his strength, and God makes his feet like the deer's feet to tread on the high places, to tread on heights. Now, I have seen a documentary about mountain ibex, which are like mountain goats, and they walk on impossibly steep cliffs at the side of the mountain, and it seems to be like what is written here in Habakkuk, the feet of the deer treading on high places, places which seem impossible to cross or very difficult to walk on. What are your high places today, my dear sister? Are you going through a season like me in that week five years ago when the doctor gave a diagnosis that sounds hopeless and bleak? Are you waiting for God's promises to materialize with the birth of your baby? Or perhaps you are going through the challenging postpartum season with a newborn? Whatever season you may be going through, rest assured that God is your strength and He will make your feet like deer's feet to walk through the seemingly impossible and difficult situation. It is only possible because God is your strength. And because of that, we can rejoice. Though things may not go smoothly at times or even most of the time, we can rejoice in Him because our hope is in Jesus and not in the things of the world. Let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, 
Thank you that you know everything about us, even from before we were conceived. How amazing that you hold all our days in your hand, and you know each one of them, even before we were born. I pray for my dear sister listening to this, that she would take comfort and joy in that. I pray that she will rely on you as her only source of strength, no matter what season she is going through right now. I pray that she will praise your name and rejoice in you. Make her feet like deer's feet to tread on the high places that you are leading her through. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, Amen. If this podcast has blessed you, please share it with a friend who needs it and leave a written review on Apple Podcasts. This would help this show bless more women who need to learn to apply God's Word in their lives in the motherhood journey. Also, come join the Christian Pregnancy Podcast free Facebook group and get on the wait list for the Christian Pregnancy course. The links are in the show notes. See you in the next episode and may God bless you with His peace and joy always. Music